So yeah, um, so. going going from Maryland. So your mm-hmm. career. So you so you were three years started at Maryland then. Yeah. So you said by AJ for one year. So three three years. Yeah. Uh, so going into that draft, part, going into your last year, matter of fact, how was that going into your last year of college and then going into that draft process? How did that work yeah. out for you? Nerve wracking, man, because you didn't have the social media. You didn't have like you filed that petition to the NFL. You get your results back, and you know it was it was nerve wracking, man. Like everything I did was like I was it, I wasn't the same. I wasn't the same mm-hmm. player, man. But I, I you know once a, once a you know leading up to the um, to the season, but you know you put all this pressure on yourself. You know I was one of uh, two people in my family to go to college. That was you know. It's one thing I had to deal with. And then, mm-hmm. you know, people are telling me, people are watching the game saying like, man, you're going to make a lot of money. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. But they don't know. It's like, I got to stay healthy. I yeah. can't get hurt. I can't lose this, this stock where mm-hmm. I am, my status uh, in the draft. So it was nerve wracking, man. And uh, for me, um, I was coming off of, uh, I broke my wrist my junior year before probably like either, like right as the season started, power cleaning, but I didn't, mm-hmm. I elected like not to get surgery. So I just had to wrap it up and, you know, like some old barbaric type shit, man. Like, it, yeah. it was, yeah. you know, we all done it. <laughs> played the whole season, was fine. Then I got it fixed after the season because in my mind, I was planning on, before my junior year, I was planning on leaving. If I after had a junior good, year. Yeah, after my junior year, I'm like, listen, I don't care if I, if they tell me the first four rounds, I'm leaving. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like I was trying to provide for my family and yeah. it didn't have that way. So senior year comes around and now, you know, all the pressures on it. It was, it was rough, man, but I got through it. I got through yeah. it. I, I spent a lot of late, late night phone calls with him and other people just trying to deal. And it was in a space that they, they had no idea. They had never gone through that type of pressure and, yeah. Stress. I mean, for me, it was pressure and stress, mm-hmm. you know, but, uh, got through it, ended up, um, you know, I wasn't a fast guy. So I get to the combine, I run a four seven, you know, mm-hmm. that was the fastest I could ever run, you know, and I knew. So you, you was happy with that. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And that was like, <laughs> uh, absolutely. That was like, so hand time, I know somebody caught me on a four six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you run again at your pro day? Or you like, no, nah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, Nope. I was like, <laughs> my agent, I said, listen, I'm going to work my tail off. I'm going to run at the combine. If I break four seven anything, I'm not running at my pro day. I'm going to take a little quick trip, and I'm going to come back. And all I did was drills at the pro day. Man. I was like, smart, I, I, it was smart move. <laughs> it was too smart stressful because I knew my film told the story. Like, I played faster than this straight line 40-yard sprint. So uh ended up getting drafted, what, 34th overall to Cleveland? And you know what's funny? Uh, okay, she looked down in first round. Yeah. So, so, so after the season, right? Uh, you have trip. I had trips lined up to go to. Yeah, I went to Tennessee. And I went to where did I go? Tennessee, Cleveland. Uh, I think just Tennessee and Cleveland. And so they give you this like I have a great trip. They give you these like to go bags with like t shirts and hats and all that. So yep. I'll give it to yep. them. So what's funny is I get to Cleveland. And at the time, I'm looking at the the you know the draft order. Cleveland, I'm thinking I'm going anywhere from late first to early second. Cleveland mm-hmm. got a late second round pick, mid. So I'm like, me being me, not knowing, I'm like, I ain't going here. So I'm leaving the airport. I got this big leather duffel bag with the nice you know Cleveland Browns helmet on it. They gave yeah. me a ton of. Stuff. I'm at the airport, I'm getting ready to leave to come back to Florida. I'm like, man, they they not gonna draft me. I throw the shit away at the airport. Damn. Through the it's like what? Like what type of like what was I on, bro? Like my, my, my dad to this day still be like, wearing random man, what St. Like, Louis I, Rams I, gear. Man. Like, I'm like, I'm <laughs> and and lo and behold, they move up, they draft me, and it's no secret Cleveland ain't won. They just you know start winning as of late, but like yeah, bro, that was those eight years were rough. Those eight years felt like eleven, you know what I mean? Because yeah. all the stress, you know, just being playing on the defense and you know not having an offense and playing double the amount of snaps that you y'all, guys y'all had some yeah. years when y'all had y'all had some good good defenses 